Today we're going to talk a little bit about leftovers. Yesterday we had our Thanksgiving dinner and I had some things left over and I really need to clean up my fridge. So what I have in this pan here is I've got some leftover mashed potatoes, some leftover wild rice and brown rice stuffing, and a piece of salmon from our dinner on Saturday. So I'm going to make some little salmon cakes today. You could also do this with turkey, but I think the salmon needs to be used up first, so I'm going to use that today. First thing I'm going to make is a little sauce to put on the top after I cook them. So in this bowl, I have a little bit of plain yogurt and some lemon zest. And I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil mayonnaise, some fresh chives, about a tablespoon of lemon juice, and then I can add a little bit more if I think it needs it, and a squeeze of Dijon mustard, about a teaspoon. And I'm just going to mix that up. And I'm give that a little taste. Oh, that's nice. It does need more lemon juice. It's very lemony. So I'm going to let this sit while we make the rest of the salmon cakes. So I'm going to take these ingredients and I'm going to pop them into this mixing bowl. So I've got my mashed potatoes here. I'm just going to break them up a little bit. Got my rice. Again, I'm just going to break it up. And my salmon. I'm going to chunk this into flakes. I don't want it to be too mashed up because it's some nice pieces. It's a good way to use up leftovers, things you have hanging around in your fridge that helps cut down on food waste too when you kind of can do makeovers with your leftovers. And I'm going to add, I had half a, a red bell pepper in the fridge. I'm going to cut that up real fine and we're going to toss that in along with a little bit of green onion. And then to this I'm going to add an egg to help bind it all together. And I'll add two eggs. Okay, then we're going to mix this all up and we're going to take it to the stove and we're going to fry it up. Alright, so I've got my pan here on medium high heat and I've put in a little bit of sunflower oil to coat the bottom. And I'm just going to grab a handful of the mixture and make a little patty and pop that in. Now everything that's in this is, with the exception of the pepper and the green onion, is already fully cooked. So we're just really binding this together. If you find your mixture is a bit too wet, you can always add a few breadcrumbs or a little bit of flour to help firm it up a little bit. These are nice. They're not too dry, not too wet. So two eggs really did the trick. But I would add one egg at a time. And you can see if you need more or not. So we're going to let these cook for a couple minutes on each side until they're nice and golden brown. And then I'll show you how to serve them. Alright, these have finished cooking. They were all golden brown and they held together quite nicely. I was very pleased with how these turned out. And now we're going to finish them with a little bit of the sauce. You can just put that over the top. And there you go. You have a nice lunch. I managed to get six from the leftovers that I had, which is enough for the four of us for lunch. It'd be enough for two people for dinner. And you could also make this with turkey. If you were gonna use your leftover turkey for this, I would chop it up real fine. And then you could chop it with a little bit of leftover cranberry sauce. And that'd also make a nice way to use up your leftovers from the weekend. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.